Hello, beautiful people. Well, today is Friday, February 9th, and this start this is the day that starts my fashion week. So, got up this morning. I thought that I had an event at 11:15 to see Eva Chen speak at the WWD Style Dimension at um, Samsung. But I checked and it actually starts at 2.30 so I'm like super early but I just got done straightening my hair and I've already taken a shower and things like that so that's all done. Wash my face. I just need to moisturize, do all that stuff, do my makeup and then I'm out the door. Um, so for today, um... Well, so what I expected was to go to the Eva Chen, um, to go to the Eva Chen talk at 11.15 and then come back here before the curl mat show at 4 and change my clothes, potentially, or just wear the same thing. But since I'm just going to go to the Eva Chen thing at 2.30 and then go to the curl mat show right after that, I'm just going to have my same clothes probably. So... What I have is this black turtleneck. It's like a mock turtleneck. Oh, someone's calling me. Anyway, and these joggers. So I'm like super excited with these black heels here. So I'm back and I'm all dressed. I did my makeup. And I'm wearing the turtleneck that I showed you guys with the um, like gray joggers. Probably see it better here. Sorry, that's like my computer court. There's not a great place to put it ever. So just like here. Anywho. So I'm wearing the gray joggers. I really like them. They're so comfy. Very cute. And then I'm just wearing my black boots that I wear all the time from Boohoo. And then um, tonight I'm going to keep this sweater on. But I'm going to change into these cute pants from Boohoo. And they have like the wide leg flare. So they're like super cute. But the only thing that I wish that they were was high-waisted. Like, I really wish they were high-waisted, but that's fine because I'm going to make them work. But yeah, so that's pretty much my outfits for today. I'll probably be leaving here at hmm, probably like 1.30 because I kind of want to stop and get like water or anything else that I might need throughout the day. And because I'm going to another a show after afterwards, I want to make sure I have everything that I need. So yeah, I'm really excited to bring you guys on this journey with me. Um, last time I went to shows, but I didn't do as much as I wanted to. And this is the first time that I'll be going to like an official show, like a show that's actually on the official schedule. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'm just excited to finally experience New York fashion the way that I envisioned in my mind when I went to New York. So yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Sometimes feel a little overwhelmed, so we are there to coach them through it. 
You guys, all, every time that you and I meet, I leave feeling so energized and full of new ideas. It's, it's true, it's true. So how do you, how many years has it been? Five years since Instagram launch? Seven. Seven. Plus, I'm looking at Ashley. Seven. 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 It's over seven years, seven years. and 800 million people on Instagram. Um, oh my God. And you know, fashion is so huge on Instagram. People, right. Like the fashion community, whether it's designers or models or you know bloggers, it's just fashion is so vibrant on Instagram. And I am really grateful that the fashion community is just so. It's just such a great community on mm -hmm. Instagram. It's very supportive. I'm always discovering new designers and new voices and new talent and new models. So um, it's a great department to work in. How do you think Instagram has changed fashion as an industry? I think fashion's become so much more democratic. I mean, you, you and I both worked in the industry for quite a while, and I remember when fashion was literally like, you know, if you, you were either invited or you were not invited. And if you weren't invited, you found out about fashion like three to six months later when it came out in a magazine or a print publication. And now, you know, those velvet ropes are down. Like, it's, you're, you're a part of the crowd. You're able to participate and connect with people. Like, if any of you guys are Instagram living this or, you know, posting this on stories, your followers, if they live in Tokyo or Tulsa, are feeling like they're part of the fashion community. So I think Instagram's really democratized fashion and made it possible for anyone to participate in the fashion industry and feel like they have a front row seat.